Hello everybody, Scott Sword here. You've seen the title of the video. You see what's on the screen. I'm so I'm so excited to announce this video. There's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes, but finally I can announce that we're going to have another tournament for Fury of Dracula Digital Edition um, starting in just a couple of weeks' time. So I'm just bringing this little announcement video to let you know all about it. It's going to be the Spring Regionals Tournament for Spring 2023, and we're looking for competitors from North America and Europe to take part. So if you think you're the best European Fury of Dracula player or you're the best North American Fury of Dracula player, or maybe you don't think you're the best, but you just want a little bit of uh, competitive Fury of Dracula in your life, then I think this is the video for you. So let's just get started. So yeah, just to make this absolutely clear, this is the a competition where we're going to be using the official sort of application or game of the digital edition of Fury of Dracula, not on Tabletop Simulator. We're not all going to meet up somewhere and play the game in person. This can be done using the official app. Uh, it's only open to participants who use the PC, iOS or Android versions of the game. I'm really sorry, just because of cross-play incompatibility, we can't include people who are on PlayStation or Xbox. So just PC, iOS or Android. And yeah, the timeline of the tournament, very simple. It's going to start in about two weeks' time, the 13th of March, and it will end approximately on the 28th of May. We don't know the exact structure of the competition yet, so it might finish a little bit earlier than that. It just depends on how many matches everyone's going to have to play. But I promise that it will finish no later than the 28th of May. So if you've got really important plans for June, don't worry. They're safe. Okay, We'll all be done before then. So yeah, as I said, the exact structure we don't know yet. It depends on how many participants. I've, I don't want to limit the number of participants um, that can take part in the competition. I want it to be open to everybody. And then once the registration deadline is closed, then the competition format will be worked out from there. But basically, it's going to be, um, as I said, it says there, regional league style competitions. Um, so all the North American participants will play amongst each other. All the European participants will play amongst each other. And uh, there'll be a winner for each region. Um, if there are not many participants, uh, there'll be only just one league for each region. And within the league, you'll play 1v1 games um, against everybody twice. Once as the Hunters and once as Dracula. So don't sign up if you only like playing as Dracula. You have to play as both roles in this competition. Half of your games with Hunters, half of your games with Dracula. If there are a lot of participants in each region, then what we'll do is we'll have a multiple stage competition where there'll be lots of smaller groups where everybody will play amongst each other. And then the best players from those groups will proceed to the next stage. And then if need be, they'll play amongst each other. And then the best players will progress to the next stage until we get an eventual winner for each region. In the competition that we did in autumn 2022, which was a sort of a worldwide competition, um, there were two stages. In the first stage, there were groups of six and seven players, and then the best ones progressed into the final league of eight. Um, what I'm going to try and do in this competition is keep the groups to be a little bit smaller. Um, so there won't be as many games in each stage, um, which might make it sort of a little bit fresh, and there won't be so many um, sort of meaningless games towards the end of each stage. Um, also, I also want to apologize to anybody who is not from Europe or North America. Um, inside our current Discord community, um, the North America and Europe are the regions which are most represented. Um, but if you're not from North America or Europe, then feel free to come and join our Discord community and say hello and tell us where you're from. And then hopefully next year, well, if we organize more regional tournaments again, then there'll hopefully be other regions would be able to... Uh, take part and also don't worry I, I well at least if i organize it then the plan is in autumn of this year 2023 we'll have another worldwide competition so anybody from any region would be welcome to enter so key things um you'll have to play two games of free of dracula per week there seemed to be a decent number when we did the competition last time this seemed to be a decent number to play um that equates to about four hours of playing time per week. Now, some games go much quicker than that. They normally finish, you know, some games finish within an hour. But at least for me, when I sit down to play a game of Fear of Dracula, I expect it to take two hours. If it finishes sooner, then great. Normally, they don't go longer than two hours. Unless both players are playing very slowly, normally it's done within two hours. So make sure that you think about that, that every time you schedule a match, that you've got two hours more or less free to play it. Um, the way it's going to work is once the registration deadline is closed and everything's been organized, um, 
me or the other tournament admin will announce the schedule of the fixtures of all the games you have to play. It'll tell you in which week who you're having to play. If you're having to play against the opponent as Hunters or as Dracula, and it'll tell you the names of the of your opponents. Um, but it's the two players themselves who have to organize the specific day and time of the game. I can't do that for you because I don't know your work schedules or if you're studying or you've got family commitments or whatever. Okay, So you and your opponent are going to have to privately talk to each other and work out a suitable time for the day and time of the games. I don't care if it's uh, if it's during the week or the weekend, if it's mon morning or afternoon or evening, doesn't matter to me. As the as the as the organizer, it doesn't matter. As long as the games get played, that doesn't matter. Okay, but just be aware that you're going to have to be proactive in your communication and organize it ahead of time. Otherwise, then me or the other tournament admin might start messaging messaging you asking why games haven't been organized. And hopefully, I don't I don't want to be imposing any forfeits on anybody. So just to make it clear, there's no skill threshold to enter at all. It doesn't matter if you've been in the, you know, in the previous tournament or you've been on the Discord community for a while or you've never played Fear of Dracula Digital Edition before. But, you know, this is a competitive environment. So just be aware of that and have a basic understanding of strategy and how the game should be played uh, before you enter. If you want any help with that, then feel free to check out my YouTube channel. There's loads of full gameplays of the Hunters and as Dracula. Um, or feel free to leave your comments below and I'm able to help answer your questions. Um, the key thing, though, is that every participant must know how what the, the rules of the game are. Um, why certain cards interact in a certain way, the turn orders, all that sort of thing. Okay, Because we don't want to be having issues with game rules during these competitive matches. We just assume that everybody who participates knows the rules of the game. And the other thing is the user interface of the application. Once you get used to it, it's fine. But at the beginning, it's a little bit quirky, let's say. So make sure that before the tournament starts, if you've never used a digital edition application before, or it's been a long time since you've used it, make sure you play a couple of practice games with other people in the community, or maybe just against the AI, just so you learn how the user interface works. So make sure you actually do the actions that you want to do, or you don't end up layering things you want to mature and that sort of thing. Okay. The other thing that's really, really important is every participant must know how Discord works. We're going to use Discord, the communication app, for all of the communication in the tournament. Um, the tournament admin, myself and my collaborator, will post all the announcements and all the matches, uh, like the, the schedule of all the fixtures, onto Discord. There'll be a ded dedicated Discord server for this, and you'll get invited to it later. Um, but also, you're going to have to talk privately on Discord with your opponents to try to organize game time, okay? So make sure you know how Discord works and how you find things. Make sure that your Discord account is open so that you can receive private messages from people who are not your friends. And also just make sure that you are able to access Discord on a daily basis. I'm not saying that you have to have the application open 24 hours a day while you're working or studying. You don't have to do that. Just as long as you have the application at hand so that you l at least log in every day or you have it on your phone so you see the notifications when they come in um, because you're going to receive important information on the on the Discord server or from, you know, in private messages from me or the other tournament admin, also from your opponents. If you do not respond in a timely manner to some of the communication, then you might end up forfeiting matches or even get expelled from the competition. So just please make sure that you know how Discord works and you use it you know, on a, on a regular basis. And the only other things really, in terms of personality, I've, I like to think that we're a really nice friendly community and we want to help out new players. Um, so if you're just like that, then I'm sure you'd fit, fit in right at home. Um, as I said before, this is a competition. So hopefully we're going to have, you know, participants who appreciate a competitive environment, a competitive spirit. I'm not saying, you know, you have to be, you know, be all and end all if you don't win the match, but still that you appreciate competitive um, strategical gaming. And also make sure that you're a proactive communicator. That was probably the one downside to the tournament that we had previously. Some players were not um, being proactive enough in their communication. They were waiting too long to um, organize matches or there were problems because they had work commitments or studying commitments, that's totally understandable, right? And also things can just appear out of nowhere. You might think that you have 
the months of March to me, you know, more or less, more or less more normal with plenty of time to play games. But then suddenly something happens. I totally understand it and I will always be sympathetic, but you have to be proactive in your communication and make it really clear something's happened. I can't play this match this week or whatever. OK, so just make sure you've got that mentality going forward. Otherwise, you know, you end up with uh, me or <laughs> as the tournament admin sending you lots of messages, finding out what's going on. Um, so what do you have to do if you're interested in participating? Very simple. In the description of this video, you'll find a PDF document which has all the rules and information. Yes, it includes all the information that's in, in this video, but there's lots more. And it's really important that you read through and understand um, certain things before the tournament starts. So check out the link in the description. The, you'll also find in the description a Google form. This is basically to sign up for the tournament. So you have to tell me certain information, your Free of Dracula in-game name, your Discord ID, and so on, and then that'll be you signed up for the tournament. But you will only be granted permission to participate in the tournament once I have received the Google form from you, your, your answers to the Google form, and then I will send you a private message on Discord. If you do not reply to this message, then you're not in the tournament. So make sure they reply to my message that you see when my message comes through. And then once you respond to that in a timely manner, then I'll be able to send you the link to the dedicated tournament Discord server that we're going to use. And yet, you have to do all this. Well, no, don't worry about me, right? Me sending you the message, I'll do that when I can. But you need to read the rules document and send in the Google form uh, by midnight UTC on Monday the 6th of March. Okay, when I wake up on the morning of Monday the 6th of March, I'm going to start organizing all the aspects of the tournament and seeing everybody who signed up and organizing everything. So if you haven't sent in the, the answers to the Google form by then, you're not going to be part of the tournament. Just to let you know as well, if the if the number of participants is mathematically awkward, so let's say, for example, in Europe, if we end up with 17 participants, 17 participants can't be evenly distributed into different groups, say four groups of four. You have one left over. So the way I'm going to do it is this. If you sign up early, then you'll be guaranteed a slot. If you're the last person to have signed up, say you're the 17th, mem 17th person to have signed up, then you'll be put on the reserves list. So then if somebody drops out, then you can take their place. So if you want to avoid disappointment and you definitely want to take part in the competition, make sure you sign up as soon as possible. The other thing is in the description, I've left a link to the Nomad Games Discord community. This is the Discord community that we normally use just to find you know, friendly matches of... Uh, Fury of Dracula, talk about um, strategy and discussion of the rules and all that sort of thing. Even if you don't want to compete in the competition, feel free to join the Discord community and find games of Fury of Dracula there. It will give you a very warm welcome. And uh, if you have any doubts at all, any specific questions, feel free to leave a comment in this video or you can contact me privately on Discord. My, um, my details are on the screen now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. So... Um, Thank you for watching, and I really hope to see you in the competition. Or if you don't want to compete in the competition, that's absolutely fine and understandable. But I hope to see you in our community very soon. Take care, everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.